A big part of why I'm making this video is because I've noticed that I seem to have this magical power that when I complain about something publicly, the thing I'm complaining about gets fixed within like two or three days. So hopefully I am going to fix this problem. Maybe you're going to be checking for an update right now during this video and it's going to arrive for you and me. Hopefully that's how this goes. You'll never guess what happened less than 24 hours after making that video. The update is live and it is pretty substantial. Let's get into it. Yes, indeed. After months of waiting, the OnePlus Open has finally received a new update. This is the 822 update and it does bring circle to search as well as changes to the task bar. There's only one thing to do and that is jump into this change log and we're going to go through these and then switch over to the phone view and I'll show you how some of these new changes work when that is applicable. So underneath apps, this looks like a simple bug fix. It says it fixes an issue where photos might be accidentally deleted by a third party app. Under security and privacy, you cannot protect your recently deleted items in the My Files, Notes, and Photos app with a password for added privacy. You can view storage usage by apps and system when freeing up space using Phone Manager. Quick note on the Phone Manager application, kind of a strange thing going on there because I want to go into that and show some of these features and I can't find the application. It's on my Oppo Find N5, but when I search for Phone Manager the exact same way on my Open, it just does not appear. I even went into the Play Store and I can see it, but it says it's not compatible with this device. So I'm not really sure what to make of this. Do you have the Phone Manager app on your phone? Do you see these new settings? I don't have any of that stuff. Moving on. During screen sharing, you can block a specific app's notification. This feature is available in settings, security, and privacy underneath screen sharing protection. Underneath communication and interconnection adds a new feature that allows you to search for, view, and download your Mac files directly from your mobile device. So this is sort of adding some of the Mac integration that we've seen on some of these Oppo devices like the Find N5. If you're a Mac user, I'm sure that's going to be pretty cool to have. System adds the circle to search feature so you can search for information directly from your screen. This is one I've been wanting to see on the open for a very long time now, and I'm super glad that it's here. All right, so how does circle to search work? It's actually very straightforward. You should be able to see this line at the bottom of the screen. And if you tap that and hold, see how it kind of shrinks in, this animation appears, and it's going to explain to you on the first time how this actually works. Circle, tap, or highlight anything on your screen to search it. So let's get rid of that X. You can actually move this search bar up and down. Like if this is in the way of what you wanted to circle, a lot of people don't realize that. You can just move that up out of the way. And then we're going to circle this Galaxy Z Fold 6, and it's going to do a visual search. And as you can see here, it should understand that that is a Galaxy Z Fold 6. And then you can also just find sort of search results for that. But there's also like other stuff that I find really, really useful with circle to search. Like sometimes there will be text that maybe you want to grab that's not actually text. Maybe it's in an image. Here's a good example here. Let's just tap on this text. And now I can drag this out and search it. I can copy it. I can translate it. I use it to translate things on the fly all the time as well. Just a really, really useful feature that has a lot of cool uses. You also have the ability to quickly trigger a music search or just translate your whole page with the translation button. Great to see it here. They say here that they have tweaked the visuals for individual notifications, notification stacks, and user interactions on the lock screen with this update. I don't actually see too big of a difference, but I honestly don't have more than just one notification on there. And I've been using the uh, Find N5 for a while, so maybe this looks different and I just can't remember what the open looked like. I'm sure there's something different there. The size and position of floating windows are now saved for more convenient usage. That's actually pretty cool. Perhaps they're meaning this. Let's move it to this random location and then let's toss it away. And then when we bring it back out, it is going back to that location. So perhaps that's what they are referring to. Coming back out of that swipe to hide thing. Adds the screen view controller so you can easily switch an app to full screen, split screen. Okay. I think what they're talking about is this thing right here. If we go back into an application, there's this little three dot thing up at the top 
Correct me if I'm wrong, that is new on the OnePlus devices. I know that it launched with the Find N5 or it launched on the Find N5 that way, but I think that that is what is new. If you click on this, you get split screen, floating window, and close. It's actually quite a useful little feature as far as I can tell, and I use it more than I probably thought that I was going to. As a suggestion to go into split view when switching back and forth between apps, or being redirected to another app. This is another thing that I've noticed on the Find N5, and there's probably been times that's been useful. I think more often than not, it's been a little bit annoying. Like I know when I want a split screen, but it is a thing. So let's say for whatever reason, I'm in Google News and I'm in Threads. If you switch back and forth between these a couple times, it's gonna pop up and be like, hey, you're switching between these pretty quickly. Why don't you do a split screen between the two? Enhances the animation when opening a new app immediately after exiting an app for a smoother and more seamless experience. Now, this is the part of the video where I remind you guys that for the simplicity of my recording, I am capturing the screen of my phone wirelessly. And the result of that is something that you've probably already seen where sometimes the animations that play look really quite bad, but they're fine here. They're fine on my phone. They're just bad on the recording. So don't take that for being real. Redesigns the app drawer for a more consistent visual style, improving usability throughout the interface. So if we swipe up and see the app drawer, it basically just looks exactly the same as the Find N5. I wish I had a before picture because it's hard for me to just visually see a difference here, but apparently there are some changes. Improves system performance when you exit an app or swipe from side to side of the home screen. Improves the animation and compatibility for floating windows and split view. Improves the user interface and icon designs. This is another big one. Taskbar now has a floating mode allowing for more methods of interaction. So what we are talking about here is exactly this. Now when you are in an app, that taskbar is not just permanently down there. You have to do a little half swipe to bring it up into place. And then from there, you can do whatever you wanna do. You can drag an app up here to split screen, you can tap it to switch to it, and then whenever you're done, it's just gonna go away and give you more of that screen real estate. Now you can pin this thing down there and make it permanent if I'm not mistaken, but I think to do this, you have to jump into your settings. We're gonna go into foldable features and then taskbar, and then you can switch this from floating to fixed at the bottom. So if you don't like this change, which I actually do, you can revert it. And then last but not least, this is really weird. Integrates the May security patch. Is that accurate? Because it's July. Sure enough, May security patch. <laughs> One plus, what are we doing? Why did this update take an additional two full months to get to us if you're not even going to update the security update by the time it comes out. My goodness gracious, that's a bad look. So as usual, OnePlus updates for the OnePlus Open continue to be a little bit on the strange side, a little bit kind of hard to pin down exactly what's going on sometimes, but I do think that overall this is a pretty decent, substantial update. Just getting Circle to Search alone is big, but I love the transient taskbar, the little handles up there at the top, several little quality of life changes, but the security patch being from May is definitely, definitely not good enough. That is a bad look, and that's going to negatively impact some people that use their phone for work. Some different things need an up-to-date security patch, and you are now still in May. It is now July the 2nd, so uh, definitely not a great look there, OnePlus. You're going to have to hit us with another update really, really quickly. Just send out a security patch and get that part fixed. That would be much appreciated. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.